Well, the, the European Union, this next article here just kind of goes into that, touches a little bit, bit on that. The European Union, now this super Soviet system that everyone must send, sell, or send politicians to to pretend that you actually have this super government going. The, the EU blows a staggering £230 million pounds, uh, on sending members of the European Parliament and the, their bureaucrats to the Seychelles and other paradise destinations. Well, that's not corruption or nothing. They probably just need a break from all the hard work that they do, you know, scamming the public. It says the EU blew £230 million pounds last, year on, week, or last year on junkets to exotic locations, including the Seychelles. Uh, members of the European Parliament and bureaucrats enjoyed dozens of taxpayer-funded trips and fact-finding missions in 2010, the research reveals. They even go to, the, to see the red light districts in, in, in Amsterdam and stuff like that, you know, just to get tips on how to run their own countries, and maybe to be pimps as well. A visit for seven members of the European Parliament to the Seychelles cost £50,000 in hotel and travel expenses, while £77,000 was spent on a trip for 45 to... Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And it says both trips put climate change high on the agenda. The, uh, climate change, no kidding, the fact that they're jetting all over the planet. It says despite the fact that the flights, the flights generated more than 90 tons of carbon dioxide. Well, I wonder if it really did that too. The cost of the trips was revealed by Open Europe, a think tank that campaigns for greater transparency in Brussels. Well, they give you a frosted glass transparency, and that's as much as you're going to get, folks, because this is just this is scratching the surface of the incredible corruption that goes on in every government across the planet. Toronto, even. I remember they sent a bunch of their own councillors off to do the same thing. The mayor took them a few years back over, and he went to Amsterdam too. too. He thought it was a great idea bringing a, a red light district to Toronto. Toronto, uh, and no doubt he would be quite happy being the pimp. He, he was into everything else at the same time, so why not? 